Hello all. In this video we shall see how to send digital data using API frames. We make use of two numbers S2 type of XBs for this demo. One USB explorer board and an XP breakout board or needle. One S2 module is to be uh, uh, configured as uh, router and uh, another one as coordinator. Arduino you know is used to receive and uh, display API data. A DOS which is used as a digital input. The DOS switch is uh, connected to the XB which is to be programmed as a router. Always connect the sensors to the router XB. Coordinator XB is connected to Arduino. First let us configure the XBs. Plug one of the XB onto the USB board connected to PC. Fire up the XCTU software and click on the search button on the top. Select the port where XB USB is connected. Here it is COM7. Click on next and then accept the default settings and click on finish. XCTU will discover the XB is connected to the port. Click add selected device. On left pan of the XCTU, you can see the selected XB module. Uh, click on that to load the data. To configure this as a router, click on the fourth icon which shows a down arrow. Update firmware window opens. Here select the Zigbee router 80 function set. For router we are programming AT function set and not API and click on finish. Now this XB is loaded with uh, a router AT firmware. Enter a random value for uh, the PAN ID as 1, 2, 3 but this should be same for both the radios. Enable the channel verification JV so that the router joins the coordinator as soon as it is powered up. The operating channel CH will be assigned automatically when it joins the coordinator. You cannot change it manually. Scroll down to enter the destination address. This is the serial number of the other XB. Enter the DH and the DL values. You can change the node identifier as the uh, name uh, like router. Leave the border rate to uh, default 9600 but it should be same for both the radios. Under IO settings change the DIO0 configuration to 3 that is pin 20 of router is set as digital input. DIO0 is set to 3 which represents digital input and uh, IO sampling rate enter a value of uh, 1388 this is the hex value which corresponds to 5000 in decimal so a digital sample will be sent every 5 seconds by this router you can make use of the windows calculator for hex conversion hex 1388 converted to decimal is 5000 milliseconds which is equal to 5 seconds and finally click on the right button to conf uh, confirm the changes the pencil mark icon is the right button click on that to confirm the changes Remove the router radio from the USB board and then plug the other radio. 
uh, this radio has to be programmed as coordinator open the XCTU and then click on the search button select the port and then accept the default settings click on finish select the added device to load data click the update firmware icon and then load the Zigbee coordinator API firmware for router we programmed with the AT firmware for uh, coordinator we should pro update with coordinator uh, API firmware the PAN ID should be same as that of the router we enter 1 2 3 and then the destination address uh, should be the address of the router enter the DL and DH values this is the serial number of the router I leave the baud rate uh, to the default 9600 API should be uh, enabled to 1 if you select value 2 it is for escaping characters leave it as 1 and finally click on write to save the changes the second radio is uh, loaded with coordinator api firmware plug the router radio onto the usb breakout board The door switch is to be connected to this radio. This is a normally open door switch. When the magnet comes near the read switch, it becomes closed. Connect the positive uh, rail 5 volt to the top of the breadboard. You can use it as a positive rail and ground to the negative rail. Pin 20 is connected to the door switch. An LED is connected to show the door switch position, whether it is high or low. This is the connection of the uh, door switch to pin 20 of router. Connect the USB cable to power up. Now when the door switch is uh, closed, a logic high is applied to pin 20 and when the switch is open, logic low is applied to pin, zero, uh, pin 20. The other radio is coordinator radio, which is plugged down to the XB explorer board. The RX and TX of XB is to be connected to TX and RX of Arduino. This coordinator XP is powered by the Arduino board itself. You can see the LED blinking uh, per once per second indicating that it is a coordinator. Now we shall upload a testing sketch to Arduino. While uploading the sketch remember to remove the TX and RX connections of the Arduino. This is the sketch to be uploaded. Under wide setup, you begin the serial connections at uh, 9600 baud. And under loop, we wait for the buffer to fill up uh, more than 21 bytes. A for loop is used to display all the 22 bytes of data in hex with comma separated. Remove the TX RX connections of at the Arduino and then upload the sketch onto the Arduino board.
when done uploading connect back the TX or X wires and then open the serial monitor you can see the 22 byte length of data starting with the uh, 7E this 7E hex value is the starting delimiter you can also see the address of the sending radio the 64 bit address of the sending radio the last but one is the digital data byte you can watch the 21st byte of data this is the last but one uh, data when the door switch is closed this byte changes to 1 now it changes to 1 and when the door switch is open this changes to 0 so the condition of the door switch is transmitted to the other end we shall upload an advanced sketch to print whether the door is open or closed under the loop we wait for the full length of bytes uh, to receive and then we check for the start delimiter 7E and then uh, skips the data bytes we do not require after that we print the uh, string door is uh, closed or open according to the byte received when byte 1 is received the door is closed and when 0 is received the door is open you can watch this on the serial monitor now the switch is closed so you get door is closed now the switch is open the door is open thank you for watching